Hey everybody, so Joshua with Oki here, and in this video we're going to show you how to connect your wallet to these uh, secondary markets. In the last video we showed you exactly what the MetaMask was, how to go and download it, and where you should go to start looking for different projects that are up and coming, and all that good stuff. So just to recap a little bit, you want if you do not already have MetaMask installed on your wallet, you want to come to Google, type in MetaMask. It's generally the first one here. And you just go ahead and download this. It's going to save up here in your extensions. And uh, you don't need any money on this. It's totally free to download. And if you want to connect it to one of these secondary markets, that's free to do as well. Okay, so let me just go ahead and log out. It says I've been successfully logged out. You can't see it because I'm in the way, but it's right there. Um, and what I want to do is click right here. You can also just click here, and then this is going to pop open. You just hit sign in. But you can click this little wallet icon up here and select here. And then, boom, I'm in my account. And what's cool is once you're inside your account like this or whatever, you're... Um, you can change all this. You can change your images for your, your feature. You can change the background banner. You can also update all your names and such. So you can click something like here, click settings. MetaMask is going to pop open. Uh, welcome to OpenSea. Click sign to sign in. Um, no password needed. Um, I want to make something very, very clear that you want to make sure that when you kind of connect to these sites or sign stuff, you really want to read and make sure you understand. Um, this is really, really true for like finding upcoming projects and, and whatnot because there's a lot of scams out there. So you want to make sure you find the legit stuff because um, it's very easy to connect to one of these really bad sites. Um, you basically hit sign, not really reading it properly, and you basically just allow them to do all the transactions and they just clear your account out. Keep in mind, this is like the wild, wild west right now, okay? So, you know, it's high risk, high reward type environment. And there's sharks out here, right? Um, so you just go ahead and hit sign. And we'll cover a lot of that more security in some later videos. But once you're in, you know, once you connect for the first time, it's like literally creating an account. You don't need to do the traditional way where you have to set all this stuff up beforehand before you get an account. You just basically connect it to your wallet. That's your account. And then you can set up all your personal stuff like this, okay? Um, so basically, this is just a little quick video of how you would connect to um, OpenSea using your MetaMask wallet. And once you're connected, you want to use exchanges to send your money from your exchange to your MetaMask wallet. You want to use something like Coin, Coinbase, uh, Coinbase Pro, um, Crypto.com, Binance, uh, FTM, any of those major exchanges, you basically have a withdrawal function. And inside your MetaMask wallet, just to recap, this is your personal uh, wallet address, okay? So I just hit copy like that. Um, sorry, I didn't mean to say it like that. But what you could do is you come up here, and let's just say I was using one of my exchanges. Um, um, what you could do is you can hit something like send, for example, and then you could just put somebody's address in, um, and that's basically how, how it's done. And you'll just put whatever amount you want and hit next and it will just send out. Um, I recommend starting with small balances. Like if you were using an exchange like, uh, let's just take Coinbase, most people use, um, you'll send your Ethereum because MetaMask primarily uses Ethereum. Uh, we'll cover some other stuff later, but you'll send Ethereum to the, your MetaMask. And I would suggest when you're first starting, send a small amount. Don't just start with, you know, sending a thousand dollars out or ten thousand dollars out, right? You want to start with maybe 50 bucks just to make sure that you can get the money to that to this decentralized wallet on MetaMask, but also make sure you had the address right because you know it could be real bad for you if you screwed up a number or you just don't really understand the process correctly and you send a whole bunch of money and now it's lost. There's no rollbacks, there's no receipts in crypto. Um, so yeah, this is just a quick little video that we wanted to show you exactly how to connect your MetaMask wallet to these uh, NFT marketplaces. Thank you guys for your time. Have a great day.